Okay, we're going to see if we can uh, figure out a way here to get incorporate this stone into the back of our waterfall weir because uh, I like the way it looks right now, but I'm going to run short on some stones. <laughs> Okay, don't tell anybody. Putting some cedar shims in there. Cedar because it keeps the bugs out. Cedar does rot. So when they said that we want to use cedar to prevent rot, it's not true. Uh, cedar repels bugs, and the bugs, it's bugs that accelerate the rot. So, if you can keep the bugs away, you can uh, put off the rotting for a period of time. The reason I'm putting these underneath is because my stone is 5 eighths of an inch thinner than the uh, concrete blocks. So, I'm putting these here. They are uh, going to make up the difference so that everything stays level on the top. I have enough to cut both three pieces. It's going to measure the angles for me because I don't need to know the angles. I just need to line up all the angles. I don't know if you can see exactly what I'm doing here, but what I'm doing is I'm just kind of putting this in uh, inside the space that I needed to fill. And I'm going to use the uh, the outside edge. And it doesn't matter where you decide to line up to. You just have to remember what you're lining up to so you can always compare it to the same thing. So that's what it's about. So I just, I, I put this in, got my shape. That's the shape I need. Wow. So when I'm transferring this, I'm just gonna Follow. Move it this right. This angle here. So I'm going to flip it over 
and then transfer it on the other side. <laughs> so I got through it, chiseled it out, got a pretty good wedge. Looks like it's going to fit in there pretty good. But I do have to trim it up a bit. If you find this video entertaining, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. Okay, this here. I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. That looks pretty good. Finished it. That'll be just fine. So let's go over here and see if we can get these ones done. I look forward to reading your comments and feedback. So drop me a line. All things considered, it turned out pretty good. I look forward to seeing you next time.